Welcome back to another video, you guys. I am Cheryl here at the Made on Sunday studio, and I talk all about branding, design, and creative entrepreneurship on this channel. So if you are starting your own creative business right now, then be sure to subscribe to follow along. Now in today's video, I am gonna be actually playing around with Canva's newest features to make engaging presentations. As a brand designer, I actually love and recommend all of my clients to use Canva as their primary presentation slide maker, uh, as opposed to some of the other popular presentation softwares. Canva actually allows you to create super customized and personalized presentation decks uh, with all of your branded elements, meaning you can use your brand fonts, your brand colors, your brand elements and kind of like stack them on top of each other and make beautiful slides. On top of that, now Canva has all these great animated features that are super easy to use and make your slides a little bit more interesting to look at and just more visually engaging. So why don't we hop onto my laptop and look at all of the different animated options. Welcome to my laptop. We have logged into Canva now. So head into Canva and we are gonna create a presentation deck. So right at the very top here, you're gonna find presentation. So we're just gonna open that up and we're gonna see a ton of templates. So I'm just gonna go and scroll into the template section and find something that looks cute and like my style. Let's just see which one I wanna use. Ooh, this is really cute. This is really cute too. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go with this one. Let's keep it simple. Um, all right, so I am gonna put my head up here and let's see which kind of uh, layouts that I want to apply. So obviously we have the title. Um, we can add maybe this one right here, my team. How about, mm, yeah, sorry. I'm gonna do my team first and then I'm gonna, I like this one and this one, and then we're gonna end off with the contact. All right, so this is going to be our presentation slide, and let's say I filled out you know, some of the information now, I'm just kinda trying to plan out all of the different slides here. Um, first animation that you can do is transitions. So just like any other presentation software, there usually is a way to create kind of creative transitions between one slide to the next. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the first one right here. Let's say we wanna create a transition between the first um, and second slide. Then you're gonna go to the first slide and you're gonna click on the three dots here and add transition. Then you're gonna get an option of different transitions here. We can do dissolve slide, which I really like, um, circle wipe, color wipe, very cool. Um, I think color wipe means you can actually pick a color. Line wipe, match and move, which we will explore later. Stack and chop. Let's actually check out color wipe because it looks like it's a new transition. Um, you can color wipe it different ways, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna do this one actually and I'm gonna choose one of my brand colors. So, oh, you can choose like multiple colors. Interesting, okay. Ooh, that's really cool. All right, so I really like that look. I'm actually gonna end it with a green. Okay, awesome. And I'm actually going to make it slower. So you can make the transition go slower or even the slowest here. That's really cool. Okay, I'm gonna make it like an in-between. There we go. All right, so I like that transition. So you can go ahead and go through each of them and kind of add this transition. Um, once you pick one that you really like and you do want it to apply for all of them, you can also apply between all pages. And now every time we transition to each page, let's just present it really quickly so you can see the transition it will apply that to every page. That's actually really cool transition. Okay, awesome. So that's transitions. Next up is what they call 
move and match all right so let's check out transitions again i'm gonna do it through this one to this one so let's say this is about timing and this is actually a tracker on all of the timing that has happened so i'm going to want this little image here with all the text um, i'm gonna copy this so command c and i'm gonna want it to move to this side of the page when you move and transition to the next slide so i'm gonna control v and move this over here i basically want this to transition from over here and then into over there, which is really, really cool. All right, so let's see how to do this. We're gonna go into the first slide here and we're gonna click on change transition or add transition. And then we're going to go here called match and move. Did you see how, whoa, that page moved over to the other side? So again, you can make it faster or slower, but I think having a slow transition actually makes it really cool and you can really see that transition. Oh, I really love that. So we are going to keep that right there and let's just check out how that looks. Boom, into the next slide. That is so very cool. So this is a regular transition for this particular page we have a little move and match and move transition. Okay, I can imagine using this for so many different purposes. If you want images to move across the page, you can use this match and move feature. There's so many things you can do. That is so exciting. Okay, so that is the second thing you can do in terms of animations for your presentations. Next up is video. So let's just say, let's see. How can we add, um, how about this one right here? Let's just say we want this to be, instead of this static photo right here, we can change this to a video. So let's go into elements. You can either actually upload your own video here, like pick something in your database, or you can download a video somewhere, or you can go into elements and we're going to find some stock videography. So let's just say, let's see, let's scroll through and see if there's anything cool here. I really like this image right here. So we can move this into here. And just like that, we have a animated feature, which is a video in this section. So I'm gonna click on present here and let's see how that looks. It's just going to play this video on a loop and creates a little bit more kind of visual interest in this slide. So definitely a very cool feature. All right, next up is GIFs. All right, so if you didn't know, you can actually go and slide into the bottom uh, left here and go to more, and then you're going to be able to find an app here called Jiffy. And there you can basically get the whole catalog of Jiffy's, um, so you can pick the one that you love, maybe something like this one. I love this one. So you can add a little bit of like animation just by adding a funny GIF or something. Um, or actually, I love this one. Maybe in the thank you page, we can add this. How about we add this contact page at the very end, and then we'll add this little GIF in this section right here. I love that. Okay, awesome. So just like that, you can get the whole database of Jiffy's here or Giffy's, whatever you call it. Um, and just like that, you can put it into your presentation. All right, next up is animated elements. So I'm gonna go to maybe right here and I am going to go into elements and I'm going to go to uh, graphics right here and I am going to type maybe like an animated arrow. And just like that, you're gonna see all of these animated um, arrows to choose from. So let's just say I want to have this one where it's like pointing to the person. I can add that in or maybe a little like emphasis on this corner right here. And then maybe I want to do um, 
a little point to this person right here like that. Uh, just like that, you've added a little bit more animation to this page just to make it a little bit more interesting. All right, so the next thing that you can do is animated text. So we're on this slide right here and there are a bunch of numbers and I want these numbers to really pop on the page when we transition to the slide. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on the text that I want animated and we're gonna go to animate here. And there's gonna be a bunch of different options to animate this text. And I think, ooh, that's actually cool. So maybe we'll do that one. We'll do a burst. There's an intensity here. We can make it burst more. Um, and I'm gonna do it just on enter. So when we go into the slide, it's going to make that animation. So we're gonna go to burst again on enter. And then we're gonna do the same here. Burst um, on enter. All right, so when we transition from this slide now to the next one, let's see what it does. Boom, there we go. So another fun way to just make the page a little bit more animated is to animate your text. All right, the last tip here I have for you is a super fun one. When you are presenting, Canva has actually um, done like a couple of shortcuts on, on Canva that you can click onto and it would show like some fun things on the screen. So let's say you are presenting a new idea. You can actually do a drum roll with D. And then you can go to the next slide. You can also do confetti. Let's say we, you know, announce the new team and you can just keep adding more and more confetti. <laughs> with a C and then we have M for mic drop and then you also have O for bubbles so the more you click on it the more bubbles are going to show up on the screen um, and then we have B for blur so let's say you want to hop onto the next slide but you want it to be blurred for now okay too many bubbles um, you can actually just talk about the slide first and then click on B again and it will unblur it. And then we have Q for quiet. <laughs> That's actually really loud. Um, and then we have U for unveil. So again, let's say we want to unveil the next slide. Boom, we have an unveiling of the next slide here. And then we have S for spider, this is a really odd one. And if you click on, oh, that's a really weird one. I wonder if that is more of a Halloween special because we are close to Halloween right now. Um, and then we also have G for ghosts, which again, I'm so sorry, that is so loud. Um, and then we have actually timers. So let's say you are um, having a section where you want it to, um, have a timer. Let's say we get to the very end here and you have um, five minutes to chat with each other. Then you can actually click on any of the numbers here and it would start a timer. So um, let's say you want three minutes, you can click on uh, three and it will give you the three uh, timer. So I'm just going to remove that one. So if you click on three, it will start the three one and then you can click on three again and it will actually hide it. So you can go all the way up to nine minutes here. Um, and yeah, I just thought that was really fun little shortcuts that you can add to the animation of your presentations. And that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and learned something new. And if you did, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Now, if you really enjoy using Canva, by the way, I highly recommend checking out my class on Skillshare called Canva Basics, Launch Your Creative Business. It is a three hour self-paced class where I teach you all of the basics of how to use Canva and then how to create marketing materials materials with all of the skills that you have learned. It is geared strictly towards new business owners and creative business owners and helping you by the end of it to be able to launch with beautiful branded materials. I'm going to put the links below for my 30 day free trial of Skillshare so you can basically take the class for free. I am so excited to see you there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.